Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Christina and this is Speech Therapy Education. Today we are going to talk about the difference between articulation disorders and phonological disorders. They are both classified as speech sound disorders. However, understanding the difference between the two is vital for diagnosing and treatment purposes. Can someone only have an articulation disorder? Yes. Can someone only have a phonological disorder? Yes. Can someone have both an articulation and phonological disorder? Yes. Let's talk about etiology first. Etiology is the cause of the disorder. We often don't know why these disorders occur. The etiology is often unknown. With articulation, we may know the cause if there are structural problems or muscular function problems, such as with dysarthria or cleft palate. Before we dive into the difference between articulation disorders and phonological disorders, we need to know the difference between phonetic and phonemic. Articulation disorders occur at the phonetic level. Phonological disorders occur at the phonemic level. What does that mean? Think of the phonetic level as the single sound level. The phonetic level is related to the motor act of producing consonants and vowels by themselves. Think of the phonemic level as the sound patterns level. The phonemic level is the organization of speech sounds in our brain into a system of sound patterns. But wait, that sounds a lot like a language process. And you're right. The phonemic level is often referred to as the linguistic level or the cognitive level. An articulation disorder affects the phonetic level. When an individual has trouble saying single consonants or vowels past the age of typical development, they may have an articulation disorder. This is an issue with the motor production of speech sounds. Articulation disorders are classified into four categories. Remember the acronym SOTA. Substitutions, omissions, distortions, and additions. A phonological disorder is a language-based disorder that affects the phonemic level. This means you may have difficulty organizing the speech sounds you can say into a system of phonemic contrasts. When you have a phonological disorder, you don't have difficulty saying the actual sounds. You should be able to produce the sounds for your words that are in error. The difficulty lies with the organization of those speech sounds in your brain. As children grow, they use phonological processes to make adult speech much easier. For most children, these processes are completely normal and they are not considered an error. However, if a child continues to use those phonological processes past the age of typical suppression, then they might have a phonological disorder. There are many other phonological processes, but we are going to save that information for a separate lesson. In summary, articulation disorders are phonetic level difficulties. Phonological disorders are phonemic or linguistic cognitive based difficulties of the speech sound system. We are not going to cover treatment in this video, but know that understanding the difference between the two is key to the treatment. Articulation disorders might require a more motor-based treatment approach, while phonological disorders may require a more language-based treatment approach. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Resources used for the content in this video are provided in the description. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with future content. Have an amazing day.